Hello YouTube and welcome back to All Flads. Now, today is something a little different in Ace of Spades because I'm actually going to do a commentary and it's not going to be a vlog so don't worry about that. Uh, basically I'm going to say why I'm still playing Ace of Spades after 11 months of uploading this game and for a game that doesn't have a grind or unlocks or things like that, it, you'd have thought that by now I'd have sort of gone oh I've had enough of that but in in actual truth that's one of the greatest things about this game and I do mention it a lot but playing not having to have a grind means that I can just have fun in any given game mode and it doesn't really make any difference to me the leaderboards don't hold me to be to be perfectly honest if I, if I wanted to specialize in something I could probably be top of the multi heal leaderboard within a month but and that's not me, me being arrogant that's just me saying uh, the, the truth I like I, I try and be truthful with you guys as best can. I think uh, another point that is important to point out uh, is the fact that my channel is heavily reliant upon Ace of Spades. I didn't set out for it to be like that, but it has ended up like that, and I'm very grateful to Jaggets for, for their help in doing that, because they've got me a lot of subs through their promotion, and whether or not my videos have been of the best quality, they've always seemed to push them forwards, uh, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, the, I've already gone over the grind. Uh, it, it, the fun element in Ace of Spades is something that I get... In, in in a large amount that I don't usually get from other games. Now you'll you'll find that people that play Call of Duty and upload Call of Duty will moan about everything in Call of Duty, and yet they'll still put up Call of Duty, uh, and and they'll keep playing, they'll keep grinding because you get addicted to that grind. Uh, Ace of Spades doesn't have that, and 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 that is where the fun element comes into this. You can just enjoy it for what it is, and that's that's uh, one of the things that, like I say, I don't get out of very many games, and that's held me for. Uh, for the longest period, I think, is probably the fun element. The map devastation and the map manipulation, this is something that makes every single game different. And if you play the same map across every game mode, it will be different. And it will not play out in the same way. And you may say, well, that's the game mode. And it, it, It's not the game mode. It's the way that you can alter the way that you move around the map and the way that you actually destroy and create new routes and new ways of winning and and that's something that really appeals to me and the fact that I can there are now so many maps and so many different game modes and so many ways to complete all of them you'll never ever perfect a single game mode I mean there was a point where Lunar Base was very heavily dominated by Marksman that's no longer the case every single class can really do work on that level now and across all the other game modes if you play Marksman chances are you're not going to get the highest score anymore in TDM okay you're probably still going to score high in games like Domination, uh, Demolition, sorry, you're not going to do that. It simply doesn't work. It's a, and it, that's a really important point, and that's something that sort of means that you'll never be quite perfect at any given class. The game modes that I've spoken about, are, the fact there are so many and there's so much enjoyability. I don't even know if that's a word to be honest. Uh, it uh, makes things so much more fresh. They, they stay fresh, and I can choose to play TDM, and then if I get bored of TDM, I can move on the multi hill into. Dark Diamond Mine, and these are game modes that I really enjoy and really have important sort of teamwork aspects, but can also be played on your own if you just wanted to rock about and just try your best on your own. Now, that's very important to me. I think it's only fair to mention the effort that's been put in by Jagex, uh, Jagex over the last sort of, I don't know, I, w I would say six six months I think is fair it but no, I'm not saying there wasn't any effort before that but there was plenty of things wrong and uh, there was a bit of a bad feeling between them and the community but now Sally and Crispy have, they've, they've turned it around and they've been instigating lots of interest in discussion they've been putting forward our ideas to the devs and they've been making things happen for us and I know they get a lot of stick uh, and they put themselves in that position and it's, it's their job to take that stick and it's their job they to try and act upon it and they've done so much work to the game to bring out new game modes the map creator to make balance tweaks here and there to try and make it as fun as possible for everyone that's playing and and that's something that's hugely hugely beneficial to the game itself uh, and I think that that in turn has led to my next point which is community changes the community was oh it was in trouble uh, sort of around 
February, March, April. It was in a really bad way, and I didn't even enjoy being on the forum at that point, and and so I took a break myself. But since the, all the change of coming to the game, since there's been more communication between us and the team at Jagex, we've we've now found this medium where everyone's now looking forward to how we can make the game better, how we can have these community events, how we can create more maps that will sort of push the boundaries the inception map of course is is just something that is out of this world if you haven't checked that out and and the community has now evolved into a very happy very productive place you've got the old people in there that are still disagree for the sake of disagreeing but nonetheless ultimately we are now at a really good position in the community and that just increases my desire to keep playing Now the last point is probably the most important point. The number of friends that I have made through Ace of Spades has been incredible. And and they're across they're across varying ages, varying sort of countries, varying jobs, varying positions within the gaming community, so it might be people like Sally or Chris uh, that are actually working at Jackets for Ace of Spades, or it might be people that are 12 years old uh, that are just playing because they enjoy it and they're dealing with high pings just because they want to play and now these people have all got inputs in towards how the game works they've all got their own ideas and this just creates such a great atmosphere when I'm playing with these sort of people so I just want to thank all the people that I now know as a result of Ace of Spades because you guys have made this game exactly what I want it to be it's a fun creative slightly competitive and yet ultimately brilliant experience. So thank you very much for that, and uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was something a bit different. I know it's six minutes long, but I wanted to get those points across. So thanks very much for watching. I've been Old Flads. Cheers, and goodbye.